Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Great to see you all again. I'm here with John Cohen, my partner, my wonderful partner, and our favorite philosopher, Bill Jordan. How are you doing, Bill? I'm doing great, guys. Hope you are. Bill, you baby boomer, you. <clears throat> <laughs> um, you have created 15 practices, best practices for living your life, and you share them with everybody on a regular basis. Um, I was reading, some of them are pretty obvious, some of them are unique, um, all very valuable, but I was reading number two yesterday. Number two, yeah. practice number two. Share that with number us. Two is, uh, I, I say the serenity prayers, plural. Many people know of one serenity prayer, which is God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There is, there are two more. The second one is for me, God grant me the serenity to accept the people I cannot change, the courage to change the one I can, and the wisdom to know it's me. Yes, that's the one. And that's the one I love. Heard that one. The third one, and I've got to, I got to read it because I've yet to really fully memorize it. Although I understand it in principle. God grant me the serenity to stop beating myself up for not doing things perfectly, the courage to forgive myself because I'm working on doing better, and the wisdom to know that you already love me just the way I am. So uh, it's interesting, not too long ago, and maybe it's because of recent graduates and stuff like that, people I saw on Facebook somebody posted, and then I ripped it off, of course, using exactly four words, what is your best advice? And of course I heard you know, people would respond like, always trust yourself no matter what other people think. It's like, okay, the next one then is don't follow the rules. Uh, four words. So four words could be, and I had several friends say, let go, let God, and be people of faith as, as I am one. I mean, I really do believe in that. Maybe that'll come out on another list that I may come up with. But I do believe that if you embrace the serenity prayers, regardless of your age, really embrace it. Don't just say it, but really think about accepting things you cannot change, being brave enough to change the things that you are able to change, and then also being able to recognize the difference between those two. That will lead to serenity. And believe me, I found that, you know, the older I've gotten, and maybe you guys are the same, serenity, contentment is a big stinking deal. Yeah. You know, peace of mind is a big deal. You bet. Yeah, it is. And it's not easy to achieve, um, it, it, particularly with not only the pressures of the world, business and family and people, but the internal pressures. We all have uh, uh, internal pressures that we put on ourselves, expectations or guilt or, you know, fill in the blank. I'm sure there's a long list. Sure. Which is why I like your your second serenity prayer. <laughs> yeah, it could be the wisdom to know it's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm. The, I'm. The, you know, you've got a situation. Uh, the only thing that you really can control is yourself. And as, as we have talked about before, when we think about you know habit formation or trying to eliminate a habit or create a habit, if you stop and think about how hard it is to make a change in yourself. You can see how fruitless it is to try to change someone else. We have a hard time changing ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Right? We are the only ones that, that can change. Ourselves is us. And we have that choice throughout the day. Every second you can make a new choice. You know, you can choose to be a different person. And interestingly enough, um, because of human dynamics, because we all interact with each other, when we change ourselves other people react differently mm. and in fact may change what we don't like about them could very well be but there's no way of knowing and you can't control them anyway so <laughs> that would be a that would be a neat side benefit you know, i've seen another thing about stop expecting you from other people uh, uh, and had to remember that well you know i would never you know gone this long without thanking somebody for such and such or i would have never done that or i would... doesn't matter so, Bill, just, 
Uh, so, Bill, uh, um, uh, it's been uh, quite some time. It's really wonderful. I think we've uh, probably uh, uh, taped about 50 uh, conversations uh, over the years. Uh, but for those of uh, uh, our audience who haven't been there yet, uh, you have all these practices uh, uh, enumerated someplace. Can you tell people where they can find all the practices? Well, yeah, well, uh, YouTube, of course, on YouTube, I've just got an Embrace the Boom channel, Embrace the Boom, and there's 15 practices, videos on there, and there's some other things on there, too, that are kind of tied into being a baby boomer, and I really need to get better about adding some new stuff to that. And then also, I mean, if you're interested in, like, this mug, it's a 15-ounce sturdy mug, 15 ounces of whatever you want to put in it, and I mean whatever you want to put in it. Uh, and this kind of anchors my day. I start with my coffee and I put it in this and I see embrace the boom. And that is a reminder to me to live my life, forget my age and embrace the boom. Embrace being a baby boomer for you anywhere you are in your life. You can get the mug and you can find a little bit about my philosophy and how this got started at uh, Bill Jordan, embrace the boom dot com. Bill Jordan, embrace the boom dot com. Thank you, Bill. And by the way, uh, for those of you who have not been following us for a while, uh, to encourage you to follow follow us, uh, what we'd like you to do is recognize that now you have insider information, that if you go and you get an Embrace the Boom cup, there is a ounce for every one of Bill's practices. Oh, that's, that's wonderful, good. Wonderful, wonderful reminder that's good. in the morning. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to actually... I'm maybe gonna actually, maybe I, you need to mark them on the side. I'm going practice to... Practice one. Yeah, I'm going to sip uh, practice two because I had practice one just a moment ago. <laughs> guys, thanks for having me on. Always a pleasure to chat with you guys and spread the word of Bracing the Boom. See you soon, Bill. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.